Really enjoyed this uh, today, our first broadcast from Germany here, more specifically in the English and Garten in Munich. And thanks to everybody for having us here. We've been made to feel very welcome. We'll be back here tomorrow morning. Gabby, before we go today, um, not so much someone who's here and who might make an impression on the England team in the Euros and in the tournament in general. Jack Grealish, good pal of yours. Yes. You know him more than I do. I know him, of course. He's, he's a great lad, but missed out. Yes. How's he going to cope long-term with that disappointment? Will he be over it now, or is there worse still to come when he sees England on the telly playing? Of course, you know, he's, he's been majorly involved in the last two tournaments, the Euros and, and the World Cup. Um, he's one of the players that the public love as well. You know, so many messages I've had how come Jack is in the squad? Shocked. Everyone shocked he's not in the squad. He will look back and he will look at, like, why he's done in an England shirt. Should Jack have been in a 26-man squad? I think he should have. I think he's a game-changer. Even you look at the friendly against Bosnia. Come on. Changed the game. Got an assist for Trent's goal. And he's that sort of game and player, Jim. As well. Simon might disagree. But when you're, when you're playing in a tournament game and you need someone to come and change the game 20, 30 minutes... Jack's that sort of player, getting to tight places, teams sitting back. Also, when you're winning a game, someone to come on in a game and get little fouls, Jim. Get little fouls up the pitch, carry the ball, be clever, yeah. slow the game down. I just don't understand in a 26-man squad why Jack isn't in. And I think everyone was baffled by it, to be honest. Simon will disagree, Except of okay. course. But I think his tournament experience as well. Jack should have been in the squad for me. Why do you think differently, Simon? I mean, so many people say to me, he's what? He's left out Grealish? I think there's many people would say he'd included Grealish if he'd included him. He's not had a great season. And I think you've got to pick people on what they're doing, not what they've done. Otherwise, you'd be picking Matt, Nat Loftas, wouldn't you? I mean, you're picking people that are here and present and clear and in form and have had a valuable season. And I think there are other players that can do equally what Jack Grealish... I'm not... Listen, I think Jack Grealish is a good player. I'm not, I, I'm not in the camp that Jack, Jack Grealish is a game-changing player. Um, I think that, uh, you know, very rarely does Guardiola get it wrong, and it's not his fault, the price tag, but I don't think he's 100 million. Look at million this season, he, that season, his injury problems he has, but big games, the Real Madrid games, Jack started. Sure. Mm. Do you know uh, what I mean? Like yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. And, and they didn't win. Um, so with <laughs> that in mind, I don't think Jack Grealish... Is, is 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 a miss. I think there are other players in uh, uh, out there that will do uh, that are in form, that have been in form for a significant part of the season, and I think it's incumbent upon Jack to rebuild now, not look at the opportunities missed, look at the next opportunity. Of course, come the next tournament. Of course, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's at an age where 100% he's got. He, he'll be looking at the World Cup now. Yeah. And he'll be like wishing his teammates, but he, he will still be fuming, Jim. He would be. Of course. He played the last two fuming. tournaments. He yeah. loves it's a media playing. expression, is it? What does someone fuming. look like when they're fuming? Fuming. Do they have steam coming <laughs> out of their ears? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. especially like being a big part of the last two tournaments, he would have been shocked. His teammates were shocked. You know, we got players. Was it was it Matic? Was it um, Haman? Walk out and says, "Can't believe Jack Reed is in the squad." So opposition teams, their ex players were all like, "No right. Jack in a 26 man squad, really?" Okay, so it well, shocked a lot of people. Funnily enough, you mentioned him there, Didi Haman. He will join us uh, tomorrow when we when we broadcast live from Munich. In the meantime, Gabby, thanking you, sir, for sitting Thank alongside. You for having me the great man yes. uh, and joining us uh, today to get us underway here in uh, Germany. Gabby's going to be back on breakfast tomorrow morning in this very position. <laughs> now, in the middle of the day here in uh, Munich, ah. it's pretty darn cold. So Gabby is off very shortly to a thermal <laughs> shop and uh, he, he <laughs> will get himself jobs, yeah. suitably decked Definitely. out for tomorrow morning's broadcast. Simon, thanking you, my friend. We're off and running here uh, in the Euros and it builds from here. Thrilled to be here and Stay with us in this uh, Euros adventure, which is Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.